Welcome to my channel and this standing Pilates class that you can do anywhere. You don't even need a mat. Bring your hands onto your lower stomach. Feel the connection of the feet down into the ground. Take a deep breath in through the nose and as you exhale feel the stomach drawing in and up. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale, notice the pelvic floor muscles contracting as the stomach lifts and draws away from the hands. Bring your hands to your chest. Notice a sensation of the beating of the heart. And as you inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze up towards the sky. And as you exhale, Looking down, feeling the chest softening down underneath your hands. Inhale, open the chest, gaze up and feel the spine elongating, lengthening up. And exhale, soften the chest, look down, feel the pelvic floor and the stomach muscles lifting up. Clasp your hands behind your head. Use the hands to elongate the neck. Inhale, look up, opening your elbows. And as you exhale, bring the elbows together to stretch the back of the neck. Inhale, press the feet into the floor. Open the chest, look up, open the elbows as far as you can. And exhale, looking down, lifting the pelvic floor and stomach up. Keep rounding over until you can place your hands on your knees. And then as you inhale, arch your upper back. Open the chest, look forward. Exhale, press your hands into the knees and round your back. Pull your stomach in as much as possible. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, rounding the back. Exhale all the air out and pull the navel in just a bit more. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, round, drawing the navel all the way up and then release the head over. Drop the head, allow the spine to decompress. You can take any small movements that you like. Press the feet into the floor, rolling up. Take a breath in, float the arms up and then take them back, opening the chest. Give yourself a hug and round the spine. Bring the tailbone forwards. Take the stomach back. Again, inhale. Open the chest, taking the arms back. And then hug with the other arm on top. Round the spine. Tailbone forwards, creating a C shape. Inhale. Reach the arms up. Hold on to your left wrist. Reach up and over stretching the left side of the body and then to the other side hold the right wrist open the right side of the body coming back to center bring the heels together into a v position float your arms up and lift the heels up think of bringing the heels together long legs find your balance and slowly bring the heels back down. Again, lifting the heels up. You can do it as high or as low as you want because we're going to cha challenge the balance. So taking the arms into the hundreds, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breath in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Keep pumping the arms. The more vigorously you do that, the more challenge it'll be for the balance. Try and bring, keep the heels together. Open the chest, press the arms back. And lift the heels just a little bit more. Find that balance. Lift the arms up and dive up and over. Relax your head over. Bend the knees generously. Keep the head dropping down as you lift the sits bones up and straighten the legs. Again, bending the knees, releasing the head and stretch the back of the legs and just the left leg and the right leg. 
Again, bending one leg and the other leg, coming to center, lift the center to slowly roll up one vertebra after another. Let's continue working on the balance. So bring your weight onto one foot, lift the other leg up, find your balance and circle the foot and the ankle, big circles in one direction and then changing the direction of the circle. Keep floating the head up towards the sky and change legs. Lift the leg off, find balance and circle the foot. Keep lengthening the supporting leg. Change the direction of the foot circles and place the foot back down. I'm going to do a variation of single leg stretch. So bring your knee towards your chest. Hug it in towards you with your hands. And if you want extra challenge, try and bring the forehead towards the knee. Knee towards the forehead. Draw your stomach in. And let's try the other side. Float the knee up. Hold onto the knee, use your arms to bring it further in towards your chest. And for that extra challenge, bring your head down towards the knee and lift the knee towards your forehead. Let's pick up the pace, bring the knee towards you, use your arms, but also use your stomach to bring the knee towards your chest. You can go as fast as you want. If you want to make it even more high impact, you can try running on the spot and you drive those knees up towards your chest. Ground the feet into the floor, fingertips to your shoulders, and we're going to take some really big circles, taking the elbows forwards, up, back as far as you can. One more time this way, really opening the chest as you take the elbows back, and then reverse back. Opening the chest, loosening up the shoulder girdle. One more time. Into a double leg stretch variation. Reach up, lengthening the spine and then circling the arms. Hug yourself into a tight little ball. And again, lengthening the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up, back. Circle the arms. Hug yourself into the tightest possible little ball. Roll back up, clasp the hands behind your head, use them to lengthen the neck, lengthen the spine. Let's side bend over to the right, opening the left side of the rib cage. And then think of using the muscles on the left side body to bring you back up. And then over to the other side. Left elbow down, right elbow reaches up, lengthening the right side and using the muscles on the right side of the waist to bring you back. One more time either side. Lengthen the side and then using those muscles to bring you back. Last time in the other direction. Opening the right side and coming back. Let's twist over to the right and use your oblique stomach muscles to bring you back. And over to the left. Oblique muscles bring you back. Keep lengthening through the spine and back over to the other side and then opening your arms for a side twist 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 using those oblique muscles to bring you back twist twist coming back to center really stretch the arms open the fingers and relax the arms down bring the heels together into that v take one foot forwards and circling it back forwards and back trying to keep the hips pointing forwards lengthen the supporting leg and stretch the leg that's working as much as possible keep the leg back lift it off just a little bit open the knee and bring the foot behind the ankle find the balance and let's take that to the other side reach the foot forward and describe a half circle back and forwards Keep reaching the working leg, lengthening the supporting leg, lengthening the top of the head up towards the sky. And then lift the leg off just a little bit, open the knee, bring the foot behind the ankle, find the balance. We'll do that again, but this time cross the leg over, open the arms into the spine twist. And then as you circle the leg round, twist over to the other side. 
So twisting to the right and to the left. Keep reaching your arms out long. Take the leg back, forwards. One more time, taking it back. Lift it up a little bit more. Lift up the knee. Bring the foot behind the other knee and reach your arms up to find the balance. Let's take all that to the other side. Leg forward and cross it over, twist, and then circle the leg around, twist to the other side. Lengthening the arms out and away from the body, lengthening the top of the head up to the sky. And lift the leg up, bring the foot towards the back of the knee, open the thigh, lengthen the arms up, and open the legs, widen the hips. Place your hands on your sacrum. Bring your hips forwards, arch back. And then glide the hands down the back of the legs, using your arms to stretch yourself over. Take both hands to your left leg. Stretch yourself over towards the left. And shift your weight slightly towards the right. And then in the other direction. Both hands hold on to the right leg. Shift your weight over to the left. Coming back to center. Imagine a magnet in between your thighs, pulling your thighs together as you roll up one vertebra after another. Reach your arms out to the side. Take a saw variation. So twist and dive over. Stretch over. And imagine someone's pulling your back arm to bring you back and to the other side. Lengthen, twist, fingers over the toes, drop forwards and stretch the top arm up to come back. Again, twist, dive over, stretching the top arm up to the sky to come up and to the other side. Rotate, dive down, top arm up. And that arm brings you back. Turn out the feet for a different saw variation. This time we're going to reach the top arm up on a long diagonal. Burn the front knee and come up with the arms to the side and to the other side. Keep stretching in between the hands, lifting up and over, bending one knee, stretching the other knee, lifting up and over and to the other side lengthening through the spine. Let's take a side bend, bending both knees, stretching the arm over, drop the top of the head, and then the opposite arm continues a circle, coming back up. Let's go to the other side. Both knees bend, stretch, drop the head, lift the stomach. Other arm reaches over and back. And we can do this a little bit faster. Stretch and release over, coming back as if you're throwing a ball. And coming up, throwing and catching, and coming back. Bend the knees, glide the hands towards the knees, and then press with one hand, look over your opposite shoulder. Coming back into the other side, really use the hand to open the thigh. Look over the opposite shoulder, coming back and lifting up. Bring the feet together, bend the knees into a deep squat, lengthen the spine, reach your arms forwards. One arm goes down and two pulses, pulse, pulse, and change, pulse, pulse, like a modified swimming. Pulse, pulse. You can do this with the palms facing forwards. Pulse, pulse. Keep lengthening the spine, drawing the navel in. Squat down even deeper and coming up. Clasp your hands behind your head to lengthen the spine. Reach one leg back. The higher you lift it up, the more challenging it'll be. And we'll take kick, kick and reach it back. Like a single leg kick and stretch it away. Lengthen, kick, kick, and stretch one more time. Kick, kick, reach the leg back. Lengthen the spine and look up. Open your elbows, open your chest, and let's take that to the other side. Reach the leg back, lift it up, and kick, kick, 
reach it away lengthen kick kick and stretch kick kick stretch it away one last time and then lengthen the spine open the chest open the shoulders look up and bring both feet to the floor clasp your hands behind your back reach your arms away to really open the chest and then bend the elbows bringing the hands towards your shoulders and bring your elbows forwards take your arms back open the chest look up and turn your head in the other way bringing your elbows forward one more time open look up and then dive forwards drop the head over bring your arms forwards and you can play a little bit with the arms from side to side release the arms bring your hands and press them into your shins as you bend the knees and open the chest gaze forwards and then we're going to come into a downward facing dog lengthening the arms lengthening the spine stretch the left leg out long bend the knee and open the hip and then square off the hips keep the knee bent bring the knee towards the forehead forward towards the knee as if you want to give the knee a kiss and then stretch the leg back up again really rounding the spine as if you're in a little ball and reach the leg out one last time round really pull the stomach in bring the weight forwards and bring the left foot forwards to a lunge find the balance come up spread your fingertips and we're going to bend both knees down as you circle the arms and all the way back up so we're going to breathe in two three four five and out two three four five spread the fingers reach the arms away from each other one more time bending both knees keep the head floating up and coming up reach the arms up inhale and coming forwards and we'll go back to downward facing dog and do that on the other side reach your right leg up open the right hip bend your knee and then square off the hips keep the knee bent as you bring the weight forwards round the back forehead to knee knee to forehead as if you're giving it a kiss and coming back stretch the leg up again rounding the back drawing the stomach in coming forwards and lengthening back lengthening the leg up towards the sky last time keep coming forwards until you can place both feet into a lunge position and coming up finding the balance pump the arms back two three four five and up two three four five inhale and exhale to come up in two three four five really press the air away behind you last time and coming up reach the arms up take a deep breath in reach forwards bring the hands to the floor and take the legs back to a downward facing dog Come forwards to a plank reach your left leg lift it up and down and then the right leg lift it up and down back to downward facing dog back to a plank this time we're going to add a small push-up as you lift the leg bend the elbows and leg goes back down bend the elbows lift the other leg back to downward facing dog let's do this one more time lift the leg and bend and stretch I'm going to do two feel free to do more if you like and then the last time on the other side lift up one leg as you bend and stretch the elbows coming back stretching out and then walk your hands and your feet towards each other press the feet into the floor relax your head over slowly bending one knee and the other knee and then softly bend your knees connect your feet down into the earth and slowly rolling up one vertebra after another reach your arms up 
you can imagine you're collecting all the energy around you. Reach up, bring your palms together to touch. And then bring your hands towards the center of your chest. You can listen to the beating of your heart. Notice the rhythm of the breath. Feel the connection of the feet down into the ground as your head floats up towards the sky. I hope you enjoy doing this standing class with me. And please subscribe for more free classes.